hello there i'm back with another video today i wanted to do something um kind of simple so i'm just doing um a little bit of sketchbook work um so this is like a little draw with me if you want to draw along with me um if you hear little noises in the background it's my dog i'm so sorry he um he gets mad anytime i move and he makes little noises he's on my lap right now yeah that's him <laughs> um so today i thought i would draw sango from inuyasha and i really like her character i think she's really cool and um i really love her hair it's it's weird in that whole timeline um in the feudal era it seems like all the girls have black hair but sango actually has brown hair um it makes her a little bit different and also she wears makeup i don't know if you guys ever noticed that but she has eyeshadow and it always matches um like whatever outfit she's wearing which i think is really cool on the left side of the page here you can see some bleed through that's blue i i drew it um a shiny side duck on the opposite page so that's why it bled through with that um but i wanted to include my sketching process with sango i thought it was important because i know a lot of people always ask me about the sketching part um and i try to include it if i can as long as it's not too tedious i guess um you'll see me pause a lot in this video like with my drawing because i'm thinking and i'm trying to figure out like what to draw um i have been more motivated lately to draw and i think that comes from watching other people draw i've been watching a lot of like drawing with waffles and uh casey golden and just watching them create stuff in their sketchbook makes me want to draw in my own sketchbook so i'm using my paper make clear point mechanical pencil in pink to sketch my stuff i usually use that it's just the easiest thing to sketch with and it's very like smooth um i don't know i just really like using it and then here i'm just outlining with my sakura uh pn uh pen pn is plastic nib and in the color purple i've been liking like outlining and other colors rather than in like black i think it's a lot softer um eventually just how these drawings came out i wasn't a big fan of the top one i think her arm looks weird on the right side and i almost didn't post this but i did <laughs> record it to post and um i think i was just a little rusty because i haven't like recorded myself drawing in so long and it was like kind of hard like I was almost like jittery like trying to record I was almost very like um hesitant because I was just so like out of practice with it um but I I'm glad I did it was like fun to actually record something so um I'm happy to bring this to you and this sketchbook is almost done I have um like five pages left six pages left something like that so there will be a sketchbook tour soon i got a bunch of new stuff to play with as far as like art supplies so um there will be also an art supply haul coming soon um there'll be a new sketchbook in that one because this one's almost finished so i hope i like that sketchbook uh this newer sketchbook that i just bought is a square one so i want to make like a lot of different um like spreads and stuff like that um yeah so finishing up this sketchbook i think the last pages i'm gonna do some demon slayer artwork um i already drew mitsuri so i'm going to post that on instagram so if you guys want to see those artworks they're gonna be on there um yeah i wasn't like a huge fan of these songo drawings here i feel like i didn't do her justice especially in the first one but i like the way the second one came out a lot more um i was also just kind of getting back into the swing of things it was just like i don't know i don't know why it was hard for me to film i guess just because it's been so long and i wasn't used to it um 
But I did um, change up my desk a little bit. There's a pink mat in the background now. I used to keep a like a big giant monthly calendar thing and then it would like uh, there'd be like a new sheet you can peel off for every new month and it ran out at um, in December. So I decided to put this um, pink plastic mat down to keep my desk protected. I thought that would work. A little bit better and plus it's cuter i didn't really like the way the um like the calendar paper thing looked it looked kind of gross <laughs> i don't know um so i like this better it's very pink and i like it um so i wanted to make sure that i included that um i liked drawing kilala her little uh fox friend she's really cute i really like her she's adorable um yeah, I really like Sanko's character, and a lot of people don't, um, because of her chasing her dead brother, Kohaku, but I feel like if that were anyone in real life, they would be doing the same thing. Like, I feel like that's normal. I don't get why people, um, criticize her for that. I feel like that's a very normal thing to do, to care about your family and stuff like that, especially a sibling. Like, that's whole- that's, like, the whole premise for Demon Slayer, so- I mean, I don't know why people don't like her, but I do. I think she's cute. And, um, I guess I looked it up and her English voice actor is the same woman who voices Barbie in, like, all the Barbie movies, which I think is, like, crazy. Um, yeah, it's really weird that, I don't know, it's weird when I find, like, voice actors that do, like, multiple different things and it's like i can't believe that's like the same person i don't know that's, i don't know it's weird that's all i'm saying is weird um but yeah and i guess the english voice actor for moroku and the japanese voice actor for moroku and inuyasha i guess they both passed away which is crazy to me um yeah even like the voice actor for bulma in the japanese dub of um the Dragon Ball series, she passed away as well, so it's kind of crazy, like, how, I don't know, how they just passed away all so young, um, but yeah, other than that, I went over this drawing with a, I went over with the same pen again, just to define the lines more, I feel like once you color it, it kind of loses some of that detail, and I have to go over it again to make it darker, so it's more like noticeable and also i don't know why i did the eyes like this this time normally i leave the highlight but for this i don't know for these i put the highlight after which i think is weird um so her eyes look a bit dead until i add the highlight in them um and yeah i was struggling with my white gel pens sometimes they work and sometimes they don't i know i've had a, quite a few for like a long time already and I should probably just chuck them if they don't work, but I'm always afraid that I'll be in a situation where I really need them and I don't have them. I don't know. I'm really, like, um, I don't know. I'm really weird about, like, throwing stuff away. I feel like if I can use every little bit of it, I'm going to use every little bit of it, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like the way this bottom drawing came out. I thought that was really cute. I like her... Her, like, civilian outfit in, in the bottom right. I don't know what it's technically called. It's, like, a it's like a really pretty kimono. It has, like, purple in it and stuff like that. And then she has, like, um, her purple eyeshadow on when she wears that, which I think is really cute. Um, yeah, that's another thing, too. I don't know how they had, like, makeup back in the feudal era of Japan. Like, I don't know how long makeup has been around. Maybe it has been around that long, but I, I don't see really any other character wear makeup except for maybe like people of royalty like uh Sushomaru's mom or um I believe Izayo had makeup but she I think she was a princess so I don't know <laughs> um I feel like Sango's like the only like normal person that wears makeup in the series um yeah I don't know but I think these came out pretty cute obviously i said i like the bottom one more but that's just personal preference um yeah i had fun drawing this i 
like I said, was nervous, but I think that's just like those jitters you get when like you've been out of practice for so long. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I got back into it and, um, hopefully this inspires you to keep drawing as well, because it is something that, um, you kind of need to keep up with. Unfortunately, it's not something that uh, just happens overnight. It's like a constant practice and a constant, um, a constant grind, honestly. Um, but yeah, that was it for this one. I will see you in the next video. It might be the art haul or it might be the um, sketchbook tour, whatever I film first. Um, but yeah, those will be coming up next. And I want to thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.